We're back on Sports Overtime. Welcome to the Fox 59 Red Couch. Bruce Martin of Speed Sport is here with us. Bruce, it was a rather blustery day today out at IMS, and uh, it is not easy to drive one of those Indy cars uh, with those type of windy conditions. You and I were both in that interview where we had Tony Kanan we heard a bit from earlier, but boy, it, it gave all these drivers they, they could handle today. Well, it's like Tony said, it's like when a buddy of yours comes up and gives you a smack that you're not expecting. Mm -hmm. The problem with the wind is you never know when the gust of wind is going to hit the car and jerk it out of your hands. And that was the problem these guys faced on Friday because the wind gusts were really severe. And you add that with the high heat, it was almost like now I know what a convection oven must feel like. So it was uh, windy out there. It was tough to get different laps out. It was tough to really get a bunch of practice time in. But at the end of the day, at practice, for the third practice day in a row, we'll throw out the one that was lost due to rain. Takuma Sato finishes on top of the scoring pile line. And nobody has had a better start to 500 practice than the two-time champion. He's had the fastest lap on single lap runs when there's other cars on track. He was able to do it once again today. I spent more time, though, looking at the four lap averages mm -hmm. and on that sheet Tony Kanaan was the fastest four lap average and Jimmy Johnson had the sixth fastest four lap average. Very impressive for him considering that he kind of kissed the turn two wall right. earlier in practice. One thing about Sato, he's going for his third victory. If he achieves it with Dale Coyne Racing, I believe he'll be the first three time winner in Indy history that won each of his three Indy 500s with three different teams. When we're looking at tomorrow's qualifying session, IndyCar bumped things up by an hour. They'll get going at 11 a.m. Um, it, it could be an advantage to be out there earlier. It'll be cooler out there, and of course, it won't be wet out there earlier, Bruce. So you look at guys like Pato Award first to go out, Renus VK, Ramon Grosjean, they might have an advantage tomorrow. Definitely at 11 a.m. It'll be a lot better than at noon, 1230 or 1 o'clock. You know, I just wonder if the rain will come. A lot of the... The rain that has been predicted, you know, as we all know in this city, it can come in Carmel, but not be raining down in Speedway. So I do have to hand it to IndyCar, though, for having the ability to make judgment calls on the fly, move qualifying up an hour, because they are very determined that they're going to get all 33 people in one run. Then they can go ahead and have Sunday's qualifying as scheduled. When we were looking at the favorites for this uh, this qualifying, we have about a minute left, Bruce. So who, give me a couple drivers you think could seriously compete for the pole this weekend. Well, I definitely think any a number of the Ganassi drivers, yeah. Tony Kanaan, Scott Dixon, Alex Pillow, you know, maybe even a Marcus Erickson. Guy we haven't heard from much lately in terms of qualifying, but he's been very good as a qualifier, and that's Will Power. He's got 64 poles. He won the pole on the road course. He's never won an Indy 500 pole. And when you think that out of his 64 poles, not one of them is an Indy 500 pole, he told me this morning he really wants that I think one. think so, for sure. We'll see if he can pull it out. Bruce Martin, check out all his work with Speed Sport. Always appreciate his time on the red couch during the month of May. We'll be right back on Sports Overtime.